You're doing everything right, hitting your daily step count, staying active, trying to protect your heart, so why does it feel like there's broken glass grinding inside your knee joints every time your heel hits the pavement? It is a cruel irony when the very habit meant to save your health ends up destroying your mobility, leaving you wondering if your body's just giving up on you. But it isn't your age, and it isn't bad luck that's causing this inflammation. You are likely making a subtle mechanical error called overstriding, and in this video, we are going to correct that specific movement pattern so you can walk pain-free starting today. Most people view walking as a passive activity, something you just do, but from a biomechanical perspective, it is a complex series of controlled collisions with the earth. The reason your knees are screaming is almost certainly because of how you are catching that collision. When you try to walk faster or get a workout in, the natural instinct is to reach your leg out further in front of you to cover more ground. This is the silent killer of knee joints. When your heel hits the ground way out in front of your body, your leg is straight and locked. In that split second, your leg acts like a rigid pole vault, and because there's no bend in the knee to absorb the shock, the ground reaction force creates a massive braking mechanism. You are essentially driving a car with one foot on the gas and one foot slamming on the brake with every single step, sending a shock wave straight up your shin bone and detonating right in the cartilage of your knee. What makes this even more dangerous is that modern cushion sneakers often mask the immediate impact. You don't feel the sting on your heel because of the foam, so your brain doesn't tell you to stop, but the kinetic energy hasn't disappeared. It has just traveled up the chain to the nearest joint, which is your knee. Over thousands of steps, this breaking force creates micro trauma that leads to chronic inflammation, often misdiagnosed as simple arthritis. But the solution isn't to stop walking, it is to change the physics of how you move. You need to switch from a pulling motion to a pushing motion. Instead of reaching forward, you need to focus on pushing the ground away behind you. This shifts the workload from your vulnerable knee joints to your powerful glutes and hamstrings, which are designed to handle that load. To fix this immediately, we are going to use a technique called cadence manipulation. You don't need to walk slower, you actually need to step faster. By shortening your stride and increasing the number of steps you take per minute, you force your foot to land underneath your center of gravity rather than in front of it. When your foot lands under your hips, the knee is naturally slightly bent, allowing the muscles to absorb the shock like a spring, rather than the joint taking the hit like a hammer. The next time you go out, imagine you're walking on a sheet of ice. On ice, you instinctively shorten your stride and keep your feet under you to maintain balance. That is exactly how you should walk on concrete to save your knees. This adjustment feels strange at first, almost like you're shuffling, but the relief is often instantaneous because you have eliminated the braking force. You are no longer fighting the ground, you are working with it. Once you master this shorter stride, you have to engage the engine, your glutes. Most people walk with glute amnesia, meaning their hip muscles are asleep, forcing the knees to do all the stabilization. Every time you push off your back toe, consciously squeeze your glute. This simple mental cue prevents your thigh bone from rotating internally, which is another major cause of that sharp pain on the inside of the kneecap. By stabilizing the hip, you create a safe, straight track for the knee to operate in. If this breakdown helped you realize you've been fighting physics rather than your own body, please like the video so we know to create more content on biomechanics and pain-free movement. And I want to know your experience. Tell me in the comments, do you feel your knee pain more when you were walking uphill or when you were going downhill?